three, two, one. Go for launch. SpaceX's Starship has a new rival, Rocket Lab's Neutron. But is it a real competitor or a joke? Watch this video and decide for yourself. And don't go anywhere because we'll also reveal some surprising news later in the video. Rocket Lab. Who are they? Well, they're a company that specializes in launching small satellites with their Electron rocket. They've been doing pretty well in the small launch market, but now they have bigger ambitions. They want to compete with SpaceX's Falcon 9. The partially reusable rocket that has been dominating the medium lift sector for years sets a high bar for Rocket Lab. But Rocket Lab is not giving up. So what are they going to do? Well, they will build their own medium lift rocket, of course. And they've already decided on the name, Neutron. Neutron? That sounds familiar. Oh right, it's the name of the subatomic particle that has no electric charge, and is found on the nucleus of an atom. Yeah, science. It's also the name of a star that has collapsed under its own gravity and become extremely dense and compact. And now it's the name of a rocket that Rocket Lab hopes will take on Falcon 9 and win. You know what they say, having a cool name is 99% of the job. Yeah, that's right. Just don't ask me the source, please. It's one of those things that you just have to believe. But how does Neutron compare to Falcon 9? Well, according to Rocket Lab's CFO, Adam Spice, Rocket Lab's new shiny toy can blast off 28,000 pounds of stuff to space. That's almost half of what Falcon 9 can do. But hey, who needs that much space junk anyway? Neutron is also cheaper than Falcon 9, costing only $50 million per launch. That's a bargain compared to SpaceX's $67 million price tag. So if you're looking for a rocket that can deliver your satellites without breaking the bank, Neutron is the way to go. Plus, you'll get a free Rocket Lab t-shirt with every launch. Yeah, I made that up. Neutron will also be fully reusable, just like Falcon 9. Rocket Lab plans to refly the booster between 10 and 20 times, which is not bad at all. And how will they recover the booster? By landing it vertically on a platform at sea. Wait a minute, that sounds familiar too. Oh right, it's exactly what SpaceX has been doing for years. But don't worry, Rocket Lab is not just another run-of-the-mill rocket company. They have some cool tricks up their sleeves for their new Neutron rocket. Let me explain. First of all, they'll be able to use their awesome 3D printing technology to make the rocket's engines and other parts. Because why bother with old-fashioned manufacturing methods when you can just print your rocket like a Lego set? They will also use their multi-continent launch sites to offer more flexibility and convenience for customers. And finally, they will make Neutron capable of carrying astronauts and cargo to the International Space Station and other destinations. Well, guys, I think I have a perfect slogan for Rocket Lab. Are you ready? Here it goes. Rocket Lab is not just launching rockets, they're launching dreams. I don't know about you, but I am convinced. Now, the only missing part for me is finding a dream. I'm working on it. But when will Neutron be ready to fly? Well, Rocket Lab says they are aiming for the first launch in 2024. That's pretty ambitious if you ask me, considering they haven't even tested their engines or built their launch pad yet. But hey, anything is possible in the space industry. So what do you think, space fans? Is Neutron a serious threat to Falcon 9 and Starship? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. But don't go anywhere yet, because we have more big news for you. Rocket Lab is not the only challenger that Starship has to face. There are other contenders who want to join the space party. ULA's Vulcan and Blue Origin's New Glenn, two other rockets that are being developed by well-established companies in the industry. ULA stands for United Launch Alliance, a cozy partnership between Boeing and Lockheed Martin that's been sending rockets to space since before you were born. Yes, that Lockheed Martin that lost an F-35. Anyways, Blue Origin is the pet project of Jeff Bezos, the world's richest man and the mastermind behind Amazon. You know, the company that makes you buy stuff you don't need online. These two companies are not ready to admit defeat. They're building new and impressive rockets that could match SpaceX's Starship in the future, or so they hope. Both Vulcan and New Glenn are designed to be somewhat reusable and capable of carrying heavy stuff to space and beyond. Vulcan is supposed to fly for the first time this year, while New Glenn is scheduled for its maiden voyage in 2024. Both rockets have already secured some deals from various clients, including NASA and the US military. But will they be able to deliver on their promises, or will they end up as expensive fireworks? Only time will tell. But how do they stack up against Starship? Well, let's just say it's not even a fair comparison. Starship is designed to be fully reusable and capable of lifting a whopping 100 tons to orbit, which is more than double what Vulcan or New Glenn can do. 
Starship is also meant to be able to land on other worlds and explore the solar system, while Vulcan and New Glenn are only good for orbital missions. So it looks like Starship is better than Vulcan and New Glenn in terms of power and flexibility. But what about cost? Well, Starship is also cheaper, much cheaper, because Elon Musk has a very crazy vision for Starship. He wants to make it so affordable to launch that it will change the game for the space industry and enable humanity to become a space-faring civilization. But how cheap is cheap, you might wonder. Musk has said that he wants to make the Starship cost only $1 million per launch. Yeah, you heard that right, $1 million. That's less than the price of a luxury yacht. You know, the kind of boat that rich people use to sail around the world and have parties. But how is that possible? $1 million per launch is extremely cheap compared to the current prices. How does Elon Musk pull that off? Well, he has a few tricks that he keeps under his hat. He plans to use stainless steel as the main material for Starship, which is cheaper and tougher than carbon fiber or aluminium. You know, the kind of metal that your kitchen utensils are made of. He also plans to use methane as the fuel for Starship, which is cheaper and more common than kerosene or hydrogen. And on top of that, he wants to reuse Starship hundreds or thousands of times, which will slash the cost per launch drastically. But will Musk be able to fulfill his vision? That's a tough question to answer because Starship is still a work in progress and has not yet reached orbit. It's only done a few high altitude test flights, some of which ended in spectacular fireworks. It's also faced some technical glitches such as engine failures, heat shield issues and landing legs problems. And you know what they say, failure is the mother of invention, or in this case, the mother of entertainment. If you want to see the epic failure of the Starship, check out our video on the top space stories from 2023. You won't believe your eyes when you see what happened to Starship. It involves a lot of smoke and fire. In the end, we have a long way to go. But who knows, maybe he'll make Starship work and change the world. Or maybe he'll fail and lose everything. Well, not everything. He still has Tesla, Neuralink, and The Boring Company. But you get the point. Right now, one thing's certain. Starship has new major competitors in the space race and they won't give up easily. But hey, competition is good, right? It drives innovation and progress. It lowers prices and increases quality. And it also creates opportunities and challenges, all while making space more accessible and exciting. So let's welcome the new competitors and cheer for them. But let's also keep an eye on Starship and see what it can do. Because Starship is not just a rocket, it's a vision. A vision of a future where humans can explore and settle the solar system and beyond. And that's something worth witnessing. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified of our future videos. I know it sounds cliche, but it really helps us grow and bring you more awesome space content. Thank you again. See you next time.